we've got this filled in here, this was a fun project. Not only because it was clean and I really didn't have any problems welding it, but I really got to play around with that attachment that I burned out from my automatic lens and got it adapted to my new camera and actually had time to sit down and experiment with a little bit of the lighting and I was able to give you uh, better views of the welding puddle better than I, I have in the past. Um, so it was kind of a fun thing. All right, we're, we're done welding here. We gotta let this cool down and uh, we're gonna go grab us a fresh soda here and, and uh, get off of our coffee here and, and kind of take a little bit of a break and we're gonna get this into the lathe and start setting up and uh, dialing it in to the best possible straight access to the bore that we can possibly get in. There's a, we know that that inside bore is a little rough and when we dialed this in to cut this we were able to settle for about two thousands or so and most of that was just a little bit of egg shaped in there. But we'll be able to have a ceiling project at the end and just for curiosity what we end up with the overall length here was eight and anywhere from eight and three quarters to eight and five eighths so we are and have plenty of material on this thing to bring on down and face. So the couple of the highest spots are probably close to three quarters and the medium or average around here is two and five eighths. So we, we, we really did pretty good as far as keeping it square. And uh, we'll give you a couple of good close ups of our finished uh, well bead arrangement here. And we're real happy with how that washed out on the inside and along the outside as well. And um, we're only, after, after we start machining, we're actually going to see how much we actually drew this thing in and how much we closed that bore up and how deep that closing actually transmitted. We're right here. I only anticipate probably about th that amount, but, you know, an inch and a half, two inches or so will probably be shrinking down on the inside of there. And, uh, and we're going to get a new hole pattern in here and new helicoils and, you know, this is going to be an all-around good repair. I've got I've got that feeling right now. We kind of eyeballed this, and we know that we got to come this way here, and after we go side to side, then we'll probably decide if we got to come this way here. Somehow, um, well, we knew we weren't going to go back in and, and be perfect putting it in there. Um, I I just put this in here and it pushed it off uh, on the side there, and I haven't rotated around and spinning, but I just eyeballed there and there after I went inside. And I said, okay. We're going to have to uh, get this centered in here a little bit better. So I'm going to just make sure we're a little bit tight here because I'm loosening off. And of course, not even enough to make that aluminum shim pop out of there. And I just work back and forth a little bit. Almost, uh, almost there right now. That looks pretty good, and it actually looks like it's got to go down a little bit, so I'm going to say just one loosening here and tightening here. Now let's go ahead and put this inside here, and just for curiosity, we're clearance there, and we're touching there. Uh, the gap looks pretty close, but that open, that openness from side to side. All right, let's go on in here. Okay, <clears throat> we gotta come this way. Let's 
So we were in the right direction. We just needed to go a little bit more. All right, right, right now I'm half the rotation of the dial. Um, okay, there's that's least amount, and there's the hardest or firmest. So we still need to go that way just to skosh. I'm going to straighten out this shim here. Okay. See what we got here. We're about five thousands right there. About two and a half. All right, let's come out here and see where we're at. I'm gonna have to ride just inside because the. Uh, We're about a little bit over 15 on the radial. Um, I don't mind tapping my indicator in there, but I want to tap away. I don't want to be tapping into it. Read that one wrong, didn't I? All right. There's a little dip right there where that opening is. The rest of it's pretty, pretty well uh, solid. Let's ride it back in here and then check my. About 10 on a radio, so we're about five. We gotta switch off here, okay, and okay, right there's the high. I don't wanna push that away. Okay, let's bring it back here just a little bit. See that same that same one dip was on that hollow side right there where the port is. Okay, bring it on out here. Maintaining pretty good.
Okay, we're gonna end up, <clears throat> we're gonna four point this now. There's zero on that one. We're like minus, minus two. Minus one, minus one, minus two, we're at zero. Okay, we're going to set it zero. Plus one, there's plus five, plus five. Am I leaning on that? I'm pretty happy with that. We got like four point. We got like within two. Okay. We got zero, four, four. That's a hollow there. Okay. We got zero. We got five. Zero. Okay, three points, I got zero, I'm gonna buy that. And uh, <clears throat> this is where that hollow is, okay? So it's a little bit less there, but it does fluctuate. And in here, I'm within two thousands there. And the same thing, I have a hollow in there. Let's see how she spins. Okay, now I gotta go get my scale and a couple other things so that we can make sure because we're gonna be facing this off. We're gonna get a, we're gonna actually look at the flat face before we look at anything else. Get it down close to diameter, make sure that all of our weld out here is up to snuff as far as out to the edge at the depth or the overall length that we want. <laughs> 